Hey everybody, so I'm back soon with another video. Um, this has been one that I've been meaning to do for a while, but i just kind of been reminded of it today from, you know, just being inspired from different things in the world and stuff like that. But this one's going to be about um, how to be a leader. That's pretty much what this is going to be about. And I'm going to go in a different kind of directions than you're going to see. Um, I'm making this video because it starts because you know looking out on social media and stuff like that um there are a lot of people that i do know or that i know of that use their social media to really educate the people and to you know give them um a sense of enlightenment that they otherwise wouldn't get from anywhere else and um the way people go about these things are really different like they're really different in their strategies um and how they choose to relay messages to the people um so part of that is one, um, I think that for those people who've been like blessed to know things or to be enlightened, you know, um, sooner than others, um, for those people who believe in their heart, that it's their mission to like, um, you know, further that information to the people or to change the world or whatever you think your mission is in life. Um, I think that it's important for us to always remember that that is the mission and um, that our mission is to unify each other and not to separate each other. You know, our mission is to come together over being black, but not separate over the fact that some people have less knowledge than others. You know, um, it's not OK, in my opinion, to condemn black people for where we are in general, just for anything, whether it be. You know, our politics, our religion, um, our ideas of education, it don't matter. You know, um, I don't think that it's okay to condemn us or to put blame because personally I see and I understand why everybody is where they are. Like, it doesn't matter whether you are the revolutionary or if you don't consider yourself to be one. I understand why people are in their positions, you know, because um, I see that everybody was put here for you know, their own purpose, and we all supposed to live that out in different ways, and at different times, and um, it looks different, so with that, I feel like if you are in that position where your duty, or your calling on this earth is to um, uplift the people, just make sure that you're doing that, you know, if you've been blessed with knowledge, if you've been blessed with awakening before other people realize that that is a gift and that is a power and that's a privilege and we should only be using that power for good and with love with our people um personally you know when I go about even difficult conversations with other you know blacks in the world like when it comes to like religion or if it comes to just honestly politics in general you know being super pro-black you always gonna get some kind of pushback especially from black people so with that being said when I do go into those conversations though I personally try to go into the situation always in love and knowing that my first goal is to always try to come to an understanding or have us come to a similar understanding with each other you know um never to condemn never to make myself be put on this pedestal like I got this knowledge and you don't Ooh, what are you doing you so dumb I personally don't really use the word coon, nor do I use the word Negro pen unless it's really like, unless you push me to that point. It really takes a lot for me to even use those terms because of the fact that, you know, I'm no better than nobody else, you know, and, and I want everybody in the world to realize that, like, people who haven't reached this point or points higher than even myself and those people who've reached this point and points higher than myself, I think that we should all realize that, you know, none of us are special. We are all just living out our purpose in different ways. And um, as long as that's in the forefront of the brain, as long as our mission is to unify, cool, you know, educate the people. But it should always be about unification, you know, not degrading, not demeaning, not making us feel any less valuable than what we already feel in this world you know um you really draw people away when you tell them that they're dumb and why don't they know this they're not gonna want to know now you know and I feel like if anything lead by example lead with positivity lead with love you know educate the people but don't demean the people you know want them to seek more knowledge don't 
you know, try to push them away. And um, that's something that I'm even myself trying to figure out the balance in between things, you know, because at the end of the day, some part of it is that you got to be uncomfortable, that this movement is about discomfort, period. Because, I mean, this is comfort. What we live in right now is us being too comfortable, too comfortable with what we stand in. And that's not what we're trying to do. So, I mean, it is up to revolutionaries to make you uncomfortable and to talk about things that we otherwise wouldn't talk about, taboo topics or topics that just seem like no-brainers, like blacks and a religion, for instance. I'm sorry, like, personally, I'm one person who, yeah, I bring up religion and a lot of other revolutionaries bring up religion because they see the ways in which religion has oppressed us. So it's definitely a part of the conversation. It's a part of the educational factor to, you know, becoming more empowered in your blackness. But there's a way that we can educate our people without really making them feel like they stupid for believing what they believe, which they're not stupid. We've just been oppressed for 400 plus years. So it makes sense why we are all brainwashed to different levels, you know. So um, that's that. And I guess what I want to say about that is that I also want to say that as much as there is, a, you know, a duty, a duty to revolutionaries to, you know, give the information in a way with love, you know, to the people. I think that we also, us revolutionary people, are people who have been literally like free from the system right so we have the system that's set up to make us believe that we have to have this authority figure you know you either have a president you have a pastor you have your teacher you have whoever you feel should be the ruler you know or the controller you know we feel like we need to be dictated to we feel like we need to have to look to someone for guidance and then move away you know, move along and do our thing, you know, and be directed in those things. And for the revolutionary who believes in themselves to be the revolutionary, they have broken down that complete construct and they realize that I'm my own leader. I don't need to follow nobody. I don't need to do what nobody is doing. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to say things how I want to say it. I'm going to say it in a way that I want to say it. I'm going to say what I want to say. I'm going to do what I want to do. And that's just that. Because I'm a revolutionary. I can do that. I can do whatever I want to do. I don't have to follow your rules. You know, that's those are the people that are free from the system. And you got to understand that when you get to the top or when you start meeting these revolutionaries, you're going to meet these people that are not going to be politically correct for you anymore. It is going to be people who are going to say things in harsh ways. It's going to be things going to be people who say it in really loving and soft ways. Honestly, everybody has a different approach. I feel in my position, I'm not here to sit up here and tell people how they doing it right or wrong. That's not my job. My, my job is not to sit here and say, oh, you doing it wrong or you should be doing it like them. No, because like I said, everybody has their own diff- different purpose in life. And the way that I'm influencing people is going to be different from how someone who can say it softer than me influences people, which is going to be different from how somebody who says it harder than me influences people. And I feel like we're all needed. You know, it ain't no one way to get through to the people. And with that being said, what our community needs to realize is that if we out here with this information, just take it. Just just take what you need and leave what you don't. Take what you need and leave what you don't. Don't think that we are supposed to be leading y'all because we not. That's not what we want to do. At least that's not what I want to do. I don't want to speak on behalf of everybody else, but that's not what I want to do. I don't want to lead y'all. I don't want to be a leader. What I want people to realize is that we are all our leaders. If you see something that I'm doing and you don't think it's right, okay, do it right then. You get out there and you do it right. You go influence the people who you know are like you. And say it in a way that you feel like they need to hear it. And you do it. Because at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. It's about us all standing up and realizing that we all have something to lose. And we all have something to gain. And we all have a voice. And we all need to take our parts. Because where we've messed up is looking to these people. Looking to one leader or two leaders to tell us the answer to life. And then what happens? When they pass away, when they kill them... We lost. Everything plummets. We go downhill and we lose our hope. Everything we lose. 
just because we had all of our faith in those two, that one leader. Stop doing that. That's, that is the, honestly, to me, key to revolution. One of the keys, be your own leader. Realize that we all have something to lose or gain from fighting or not fighting. And um, we all have to do that in our own way. Stop judging each other because all it does is that when you are on the other side and you saying, okay, she got all the information, but I don't like the way she said it. Okay, well, you're not hurting me because at the end of the day, I'm going to still be pushing for the movement. And now you just disengaging yourself when you really are affected by this thing. When you could just be like, hey, I don't like the way she said it. It is the right knowledge. Now I'm going to hop on board and I'm going to say it in my way. So now I can get more people involved because I know that the way she said it, it might not get the people that's like me. So now I got to say it in a way that I know I could affect the people like me. Duh. Do that. Now you're your own leader. And now you leading within the movement. You're not being led by me who approach you don't like. you being led by yourself. Because one thing about us is that we all have different ideologies. Like, yeah, you know, for the most part, a lot of us are black nationalists, you know, socialists, whatever you want to call us, anarchists. I don't know, you know, but that's my point is that everybody has their own different classification. Everybody got their own different terms, political ideologies. Some people don't even know what their political ideologies are. They just want to freaking be free, which is fine. And that's what you got to realize. We're not going to be the same. If you want to be religious, if you want to have your own views, realize that what we coming into this space for is to be black. And we're going to be here for this black education. It ain't going to be for your, your ears. It's going to be for your heart and your mind. It ain't going to be what you want to hear because clearly they're not telling it to you. So, I mean, somebody got to say what you don't want to hear in order for you to learn and grow. So, I mean, we have to have these conversations. So, I mean, as long as we understand how everything fits into the black conversation... Don't be mad at the people that's actually making it a part of the conversation or how they put it in there. Just make sure that you take what you can and what you want from the situation and leave what you don't. You know, put yourself around the people who you feel make you grow the best and help you become more of yourself, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's not my duty to make you happy. That's really the bottom line. Or let, let's say this, in general terms revolutionaries make sure that we are out here really trying to unify our community through education and love and not um you know separate our community by what he or she don't know and what he or she do um you not nobody you not nobody special you know you've been blessed you've been granted with information and knowledge that other people haven't you're supposed to do something with it make sure you do it and that's it but then on the other hand of that if it's people out there who don't want to listen to my message, who ain't doing it in a way that I'm telling them to do it right now, or even if you feel like what I'm telling them is wrong, who cares? Because at the end of the day, that's the point. Be your own leader. Don't expect us to be about any kind of life that you're about. Don't expect us to have your approach. Don't expect us to do it in a way that you want us to do it. If you don't like it, but if you know that the information is right, then you come out here and do it in the way that you feel like it needs to be done. And if you ain't going to do that, Shut the F up. Shut the F up. Don't say nothing to nobody no more. Don't tell me about my approach. Don't tell me about how many posts I make. Don't tell me about how, yeah, why I got to come off like this, why I got to do that. Well, what are you doing? Where is your place in the movement? What are you doing? How are you contributing to the success of the black people around you? If you can't say nothing, don't say nothing. And if you, and if you are doing something, then you keep leading by example. And you keep influencing who you influencing. Because what we need to realize is that whoever doing a job, no matter if we like it or not, they getting through to somebody. They surely are. They surely are. These hardcore people who y'all don't like how they say their message, whatever, don't like me how I say my message, well, I can only say that I've changed minds and hearts and lives since I've been here on this earth. So, I mean, you think I'm supposed to just satisfy one person no that's what we need to stop doing stop satisfying people be you lead in your own way find your place in this movement stop thinking that other people are supposed to do it for you stop and revolutionary stop thinking that you're supposed to do it on behalf of everybody else because the bottom line is that get a knowledge to the people don't hog it 
Like, share. Don't want to be in this position where you just so higher up, where you looking down on everybody else. We supposed to be on one accord, one line, one line of people. Let's all give each other the same amount of info. Let's not condemn each other. Let's realize that we all came from somewhere. And we all came from one place, and we got to where we are now. And we going to keep growing in the way that we need to grow. And we got to realize how this is all connected. So, um, that's all I got to say. How to be a leader? Be your own leader. That's how you be a leader. You understand that your position in this world is something that's connected to everybody around you. You are definitely supposed to um, take responsibility of that position and be accountable for, you know, that and, um, you know, be responsible in it. And at the same time, don't compromise yourself. And um, if there's anybody in this world that asks me to compromise myself for the sake of them not liking my approach, you know, that's not going to happen. But what I will do is I will always be committed to the growth of me and the people. And if there is something that you're telling me that will definitely help with the growth of myself or us as a people, I will I will be more than happy to consider. But if you're telling me, okay, Bree, stop doing this, which is a part of you, because it don't make me happy, but it don't necessarily got anything to do with really, really strengthening myself or the people, if it goes against that, then I'm not doing it. And don't expect us to do it. Stop expecting yourself to do it. Let's be us at all times. Be the leader that we need to be. Always grow more into ourselves and be committed to the growth of ourselves. But never, never, never changing ourselves for the sake of somebody else, nor requiring other people to change for the sake of us. All right. That's all I have to say. I will see y'all later. Bye.